One, two, three, four. Right, stop that. So, here we are in a bourgeois back garden with bourgeois non-entity and a punk legend, or at least as close as we could get to a punk legend. It's Dave McLarnan from the Sunset Band, from uh, Dave McLarnan's Hat Band, from, uh, what's your other band? Peace Frog, from the Peace other Frog. one? Oh, Shock Treatment. Shock Treatment, yes, yeah, Shock Treatment. One, but not yeah. just Shock Treatment. So, Shock Treatment are linked to punk rock and, uh, and the end of the 70s, and that's, that's why we're here today. Um, we're here today to talk about Pete C. Burns, and um, anyone who knows Pete C. Burns will know he's a force of nature, he's an incredibly generous man, he's a punk legend, he's a great musician, he's the sort of person who, if you're feeling unhappy, he'll make you feel happy. He's, he's, a, he's a good guy to have around, and uh, I've only known him for a couple of years, and I, uh, I didn't know him from Adam. Um, I wanted to make a punk protest single against government corruption. And that, that worked well. And uh, I needed some punk credibility. I knew someone who knew PC. PC said, yep, let's do it. And since then we've had loads of adventures and he is impossible to pay. You can't, you can't even give him petrol money. And PC was due to get married this year um, to Woodrelina, Woody. And obviously that's had to be put off. And uh, PC is literally, Woody told me last night, he is literally down to his last few quid. He's used up their wedding savings just living. He's um, not been a burden on the state. He teaches Tai Chi. He plays in numerous bands, the Outcasts, Davies Hat Band, all kinds of funk, funk Tank, his Motown covers band, all kinds of acts. He hasn't been able to do that. He hasn't been able to teach Tai Chi. Um, he's not been a burden on the state. He's used up all his money. And I think this is that wonderful life moment where anybody who's ever known Pete um, digs digs deep and gives what they can and he's not alone there's a lot of people suffering out there a lot of musicians uh, in, in different um, well with different levels of problems but PC is literally down to his last few quid so um, so yeah I, I think if you if you've ever known him if you want to dot the cap at him if you want if you want PC to stop if you want PC not to burn out this is the time to give a few quid and if you don't, I think you've probably got a heart of stone. Dave, do we know anything that might help to illustrate that? Got a heart of stone. Whoa, yeah. Right, stop that. So, to help our cause, if we don't reach our target, we have a couple of ideas. One is that Dave McLarnan does a pay-per-view concert, and nobody wants that. And the other is, that we get a selection of Dave McLaren figurines made in China and, uh, and and when we sell them to raise some money and to be honest nobody wants that either not even <laughs> not even Dave wants one of those so <laughs> so to illustrate to illustrate the kind of guy that PT is the kind of lengths he goes to for his friends a year or two back Dave McLaren reformed his 1970s school progressive rock band called Sunset and they needed a new bass player and P.T. P.T. Burns came on board. P.T. Burns, even with his punk credibility, he said, "Let's let's put that aside for a minute. I think I can withstand playing progressive rock music." Um, and he's done that. And I think we have a song to celebrate that. We have a song that celebrates P.T. laying down his punk credentials for the good of progressive rock music and for the good of his friends. Yep, we do. <laughs> Tell them the whole story, kid. Oh, well, I used to be real cracked on you. Thought I needed no punk new. Until Greg told me he'd seen you with another band. Or two or three. So I took my record out of. Came through the door. We 
So if you don't want to hear any more of that, and I know I don't, please give generously. <laughs> <laughs>